This video is going to show you some tricks for building animals with clay. You can build any animal you'd like, but it should be an animal that belongs to the habitat that you built. We are using Model Magic clay. Tools like scissors, toothpicks, and popsicle sticks are very helpful. When you're working with clay, remember that your hands are the best tool. I'm showing you some ways that you can shape an animal head just using your hands. You saw me roll it into a ball, and then I began to pinch out where I want the ears. I could stretch these long, like a bunny rabbit. I could fold them over and make them flat, like a puppy dog. Or, if I started to stretch out the nose, I could take these flat ears and turn it into an elephant. See the trunk? You can reshape clay, but remember that as soon as you pull it out of the package, it does begin to dry. So you don't want to open it and then try to come back to it a few hours later. It will dry out. You need to build your animal all at once. It is helpful at the beginning if you pull away enough clay to make the head and any additional parts for your animal so that you can work on the body. The first animal that I'm going to show you some tricks on is working with a bird. I use the scissors to cut the wings, and as I'm starting to shape the bird's beak, I'm also using the scissors to cut away clay. Working with clay is a bit like trial and error. Sometimes the things you do are not going to work and you just have to figure out another way to try it out. When you add on pieces to the clay, you do want to make sure that they stay in place. This does not mean that you have to squish them, but you should make sure that it is stuck on so that the head of your animal doesn't fall off later. I'm using my scissors to help cut details but you can also use scissors to cut pieces away that you no longer want. When making the eyes for my animal, I add them on and then I used a toothpick to start working on some texture details. Texture describes how something feels, like feathers, scales, or fur. I'm using my toothpick to add details to look like the clay is made of different feathers. Many of our animals are four-legged, and you can choose how do you want to pose it. For this animal, I am going to make a bear, and I'm using the popsicle stick to separate clay for the head, body, and four legs. When you start shaping your animal, you can think about how do you want to attach the pieces to make it pose. This bear is going to be sitting up with one hand waving. And I shaped my pieces for my bottom legs first, but one of the things that I found out, I spent all this time making details, and then I started to attach it, and the details disappeared. You might want to wait until the very end before you start adding your fur texture to your animal, but I like to shape each leg and attach them. If your clay animal is falling over, it might be because the legs are too thin, and I'm going to show a trick on how to make your animal stand up in the next example. I chose to make a little paw on the paw that would sit up, and I'm going to have the other arm at its side, so I didn't need to add the details for that. When I made the animal head, I started by shaping out the muzzle or the mouth of the bear, by pinching it into place and then cutting it open with a pair of scissors. Then I pinched out some ears at the top instead of trying to attach small pieces of clay. Remember that you want to make sure your pieces are very well attached before you start adding your texture details. For this bear, I chose to add lines in the fur. If you find that you have extra clay when you are done, you can make some add-ons, like this fish that I'm making for the bear to eat in its habitat. To make an animal standing up, it's easier if you just cut the legs from the body instead of adding them on. Now I can shape them and pose the animal any way that I want. If it seems like my legs are collapsing or falling over, I can use a toothpick to add some strength. You don't want your toothpick to go all the way through. You can cut it with scissors or 
you could also just break it off. Adding a toothpick is almost like adding a skeleton inside your animal. It will make the leg much stronger so that you can make it stand up. Some of the details that you add to your animal might not happen until it's dry and you are coloring it. This animal looks a lot like a horse when I was finished with it, but it's actually going to be a zebra. They do have a similar body shape and they both have a mane and tail. Keep in mind that if you use a pencil for your details, it might draw on your clay. You can also use the trick of pulling legs from the body to make an animal that is laying down, like this tiger. Some animals have flippers and fins, or tentacles and sharp teeth. These are animals that might not have legs. I am going to roll my clay out to make some long tentacles for an octopus. Take the time to add features that your animal has. I made sure I counted eight tentacles for my octopus before I started worrying about what to do with the extra clay. I wanted to make a tiny crab, but because it was going to be so small, I made a base to put the crab on top and then added some details around it. If you have very tiny animals, making a base will help. To make a shark, I separated the clay for the fins and I started to make a little pinch pot of the body. This is where you press the clay on the bottom side to make a little pocket so the animal looks bigger than it really is. The back fin I just pinched out and then made a cut to separate it, and I used my scissors again to separate the mouth and add some details for the sharp shark teeth. The extra clay I used to make the flippers to go on each side. If you are trying to make things of the same size, you might choose to put a piece on top of another to cut them, but keep in mind they may get stuck together like mine did. You can always make your pieces bigger than they need to be and then trim them off at the end like I did with the top dorsal fin of this shark. What animal features are you going to include in your clay animal?